Okay, right now we're going to be looking at how to conjugate regular ER verbs in Spanish in the present tense. So on the board behind me, I'm going to do the verb comer for you, and I'll give you a chance to do one of your own, ask you a couple of quick questions, and then we'll be done with it. So comer, uh, hopefully you know, means to eat. So this is, the process is a lot like conjugating AR verbs, which I did in the pre previous video, where you take off the AR and then add new endings to it. For ER verbs, you're going to take off the ER and then add new endings to it to give them meaning. So... Comer means to eat. If I want to say, I eat, take off the ER, add a note to it. Como, for I eat. Uh, if I want to say, you eat, comes, tu comes. He or she eats, come, come. We eat, comemos, comemos. You eat, in Spain, plural, comes, comes. And then they eat, or you, plural, eat, comen, comen. So these endings here in blue work for all regular ER verbs in the present tense. I have one more over here, vender. Pause the video really quick just to make sure that you can correctly conjugate the verb. All right, so let's take a look at the answers for vender. Vender means to sell, by the way, if you didn't know that. You should have vendo for I sell, vendes for you sell, vende for he or she sells, vendemos for we sell, vendes for you, plural, Spain, sell, and venden for they sell or you, uh, plural, sell also. I have uh, four more ER verbs that are regular in the present tense. Uh, leer, beber, aprender, comprender. Uh, all these verbs follow this exact same pattern. So if you can do one regular verb in the present tense, ER verb, you can do all of them, which is nice. So all these verbs, you can take off the ER and then add these endings, the blue endings to them, and you can conjugate them correctly. If you didn't know that como meant I eat, you need to go back and refresh yourself on the subject pronouns in Spanish which I also have a video for that, so check that out if you um, aren't sure where those subject pronouns go on this chart. Uh, just a really quick quiz for yourself, just um, pause the video after I ask you the question. Okay. Uh, with beber, meaning to drink, what would uh, you drink be? What is you drink? So that one would be bebes, bebes, because you know that you goes right here, so the ending is an es, bebes, would be you drink. How about with leer, what would uh, we read be? We read. That would be leemos, leemos. Just two more. Aprender, how about uh, he or she learns? He or she learns, what would that be? If you thought aprende, aprende, then you're correct. And lastly, with comprender, meaning to understand, how about uh, they understand? What would they understand be? If you thought compre comprenden, comprenden, then you are correct. So all regular ER verbs follow this pattern right here. So it's not if you, can, if you know one, you know them all. It's not too hard.